What's up, it's your boy Leon Recommended. Um, I wanted to get some footage today. I haven't shot a video in a while. If you're new, hit that like and subscribe button. If you already a follow the channel, what's good? It's your boy, you already know what's going on. So right now, I'm about to go take out some cash. Um, I gotta get my brother some cash today. Um, it's like a weekly thing, cause I had to get some money for him, from him to pay for one of my uh, leaks on the car, so I gotta pay him back. And then um, after that, I'm gonna go see uh, if <clears throat> Arbor Freight has this two ton, three ton low profile jack. So, and I have a 20% off coupon, so that's nice. It's only $99, so I'm gonna see if they got that. So I'm getting that jack because uh, I'm gonna be doing stuff with my car and I need my own jack anyway just in case if I have a flat or anything like that. Cause I haven't got my tire pressure um, tire pressure sensor fixed yet. So I'm pretty much, <laughs> I pretty much ride without knowing what tire pressure I'm on. So that's not safe. So you guys make sure you know what's going on in your vehicle when you drive day to day. I don't care if you have a Honda Accord. Know what's going on in your car. Stay aware, because anything can happen and you'll be screaming on the side of the road. Don't take trips without knowing what's going on in your vehicle, people. So, after that, I think I want to get my, because uh, I'm going to do an oil change. Like, BMW is supposed to do every 5,000 to 4,000, 4 to 5,000. <clears> you know, some cars is 10,000, some cars is 20,000, you know what I mean? So... I'm trying to stay on top of my journey, you know what I'm saying, and make sure my car is well maintained, you know, for the most part, and this is going to be my daily driver, but also it's going to be a performance car too, so stay tuned for all the mods I got coming, um, I just ordered me some, yeah, so I ordered me some studio box lights, so when I'm in the garage, y'all can really see the footage. And also, when I'm shooting in the house, um, y'all get great quality lighting on the footage too. So that's one reason I haven't um, posted any videos. I'm trying to get everything, you know, rocking and rolling and everything. I have a lot of things in store. Next video, probably gonna be my oil change. Um, after that, I have a video on how I saved this car um, coming for you guys. So those are uh, videos I'm gonna do. I probably next, I probably order um, the double slotted um, front black kidney grills. That's a simple mod that I want to do, and it makes the whole um, car look better. I mean, you know, I'm driving around with a black car, and the, and the front grill is chrome. That shit is whack to me. I'm sorry, but um, if you want to leave yours that way, that's that's you. That's not. I mean, that's not me. Uh, but have to be at work at 11 so i can't do the oil change today and i can't really get the footage today but i'm off sunday and saturday so i'm gonna try to get um all of that done then i'll let y'all know when i get to my bank so another vid that i have coming is i'm gonna partner with turner motorsports maybe if um you know we come to terms on um, certain stuff certain stuff like the spacers um, what size i need i think i figured it out i think i'm gonna do uh 10 or 12 on the front and 15 on the back i think that fitment is gonna be perfect as well as willis does i'm i've looked into it i was thinking 75 mil thinking 78 millimeter but I'm gonna go with 90 because it's really gonna get my car that uh, race car look with longer studs on them. And I always could beef up my spacer. So if I don't like the 10 on the front, I could go ahead and do the 12. If I don't like the 15 on the back, I can go ahead and do 20, you know, 25, you know, depending on the wheel size. If y'all know the perfect wheel size for a LCI 335i, E90 N54 engine car. The perfect fitment for this car 
because I don't have coilovers yet, so I'm still running stock suspension. So if y'all know, should I do 19s with uh, 199 on the front and 1911 on the back? Should I do some 18s? You know what I mean? Right now I'm running base. I mean stock. I'm running 17s on the front, a wide 17 on the back. So I like the staggered, um, the offset. You know what I mean? Having a smaller wheel up front with a wider wheel on the back. It looks good, fits great too. So that's what I have coming forward. That's what I have um, coming up for you guys. Also, um, if you have a BMW, drop in the comments which BMW you have. Um, what be what BMW are you looking at? Are you trying to get? You know, um, give me some feedback. It is going to be a primarily BMW channel. Um, I think I'm a vlog when I go to the Lakers game. You know, I'm a Lakers, a Lakers fan. I'm a LeBron fan primarily. When the Lakers come here, I'm going for my birthday. My birthday is the 27th. I don't have a LeBron jersey, so I gotta go ahead and cop me a, a LeBron. You know, a LeBron jersey, man. Got to do the LA joint. Got to get me a Cavs one. And I got to get a Miami one. Got to put them up in my house one day, you know what I'm saying? In my uh, man cave. I had to turn around. I left my wallet at the house. I'm very forgetful. If you, if you know me, you know I'm forgetful. So right now I'm about to get on the interstate, go way out to Carryville. If you're from Memphis, you know where they said. I live in South Haven, Mississippi. Go to Carryville, get this um, three-ton low, prof low profile jack, then go by BMW, get this filter, and then um, the wrench, I can't find it anywhere here, so I'm gonna have to do my oil change um, Monday. So this video should be out Sunday, and then Monday I'm gonna shoot that video, put that video out. Might shoot another video, It'll probably be how I saved um, how I saved this car. So stay tuned for that, and I'll show y'all the footage when I pick up the cash. When I get to um, when I get to to Harbor Freight.